Guys, gals, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. It's been some time since my last flashlight review. And let me tell you, I have an awesome light to share with you all today. I've been testing this out for the last month or so, and I'm impressed with this thing in many ways. It's not perfect, but I do like it. My review starts now. This is the Phoenix LR40R flashlight. Search and rescue, and the review begins now. So let's do a very quick unboxing for you all. As you can see, this is a very good size box, and that's because this is a good size flashlight. But at the same time, it is impressively small, considering how much power that this thing is capable of putting out. You have a USB-C charging cable. That's right, folks, a USB-C. Here's the flashlight. It comes with this holster. You get some information, some warranty information, and that's it. The holster is of very good quality. Belt holster, fully adjustable, works well. This is what it's all about. This is the flashlight. Now this is a rechargeable flashlight. Right here is the USB-C charging port, and then right here is a USB port. Now you may be asking yourself, what is that for? That's for charging your cell phone and other devices. This flashlight is rechargeable, and it's also capable of discharging, so you can charge your phone and so on. Now that we have the unboxing out of the way, let's go over the details concerning the LR40R flashlight. Now when it comes to cost, this bad boy is rather expensive. You're looking at a retail price of $356. Now, at the time of filming, this was on sale for $270. This is essentially a search and rescue flashlight. It comes in at one pound, eight ounces, and that weight includes the battery bank, which is a Phoenix ARB L37-1200. Essentially, the battery bank is four 18650 batteries put together. Now, you may be thinking, oh great, here's a flashlight that takes a proprietary battery. No, that's not the case. If you need to, you can replace the battery pack with individual 18650 batteries. In fact, this flashlight will run on one 18650 battery, or two, or three, or you can put four in there. With this flashlight, it features two main methods of use, flood and also spotlight or throw, whatever you wanna call it. These two functions can be used together at the same time, which essentially takes 11,000 lumens for the flood, 1,000 lumens for the throw, and combines them to be 12,000 lumens total. When it comes to the measurements, you're looking at 6.1 inches long, two inches wide at the tail, 3.2 here at the head. When it comes to the flood mode, this features 18 LEDs, and these are Cree XP G3 S4 LED lights. And when it comes to the spotlight, you're looking at one Cree XP LHI V3 LED. When it comes to this flashlight, it is made from aluminum, and the quality is excellent. Now, as you can see in this footage here, the LR40R flashlight is a beast. This here is the flood mode, and it is insanely bright. Even at the lowest setting, the flood mode with this flashlight, it's like having headlights with you out on the trail. Crank this up to turbo, and the amount of light output is absolutely insane. That is the case when it comes to the flood. When it comes to the throw, you're looking at a max output of 1,000 lumens. Now, to be honest, I'm not all that impressed with the throw aspect, and I will come back to that in just a moment. When it comes to the body here, this will sit any way that you want it to. There is a place here for a lanyard if you want it. There is no pocket clip, naturally, with a flashlight this big. When it comes to the battery life, let's talk about that and the modes now. There's turbo, which is 11,000 lumens. This will run for 45 minutes. Going down, you have high two, which is 6,000 lumens, and it will run for two hours. At high one, you're looking at 3,000 lumens, and the flashlight will run for two hours, 50 minutes at that mode. Next, you have medium, that is 1,000 lumens, and this flashlight will run for over seven hours. The last mode for flood is low, that is 350 lumens, and this will run for 22 hours hours and 44 minutes. As you can see there, with the low mode, it still pumps out a ton of usable light. This flashlight does feature SOS and strobe capabilities. The strobe is at 3,000 lumens, and the SOS is 350. Now, when it comes to the spotlight, high is 1,000 lumens. It will run for seven hours. Medium, 350 lumens, and that will run for 22 hours and roughly 30 minutes. Low, you're looking at 150 lumens, and it will run for 44 hours. Then you have the eco mode, which is 60 lumens. This flashlight will run for 92 days straight. Okay, before we jump to the review pros and cons, let's talk about who this flashlight is for. Obviously, search, rescue, law enforcement. This will also make a terrific flashlight for someone who has a great deal of land. If you have a farm, you need to check on your animals and livestock and whatnot, this is a flashlight that you may want to consider. Of course, you could use this for any purpose that you want to. 
But you do have to keep in mind that this is an expensive, very bright flashlight that many people may simply not need. Now, when it comes to a hiker's and backpacker's perspective, this is overkill. It really is. But let me say this. You've never hiked with a flashlight like this before. When you turn on the flood, even on the lowest setting, typically I like two myself, it puts out so much light that you can see the entire trail. It's super impressive. For individuals who want to do some night hiking, but they want as much light as possible, this is something that you need to consider because there's not much out there that puts out this much light for this long. The battery pack here really does last a long time. It's very impressive. Since I've already started with pros, let's continue on. The fit and finish of this flashlight is excellent. That's what you would expect from Phoenix. It's comfortable in the hand. That's what she said. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I know someone's going to say that in the comments, so I went ahead and said it. But yeah, it feels great in the hand. It's a very well-made flashlight. The power of the flood is truly amazing, in my opinion. It really is what makes this flashlight incredible. 11,000 lumens. When it comes to the throw, you can activate that at the same time as the flood, as you can see there. Now, in my opinion, jump into a con real quick, the flood is not that impressive. The distance of throwing is very good, but it tops out at 1,000 lumens. I would love to have seen that being much, much stronger. Yes. This is able to throw a beam much further than your average flashlight. But at the same time, I wish it was brighter. If this is the first high performance flashlight that you've ever purchased, you'll think this thing is insanely bright and the throw is awesome. But if you're familiar with flashlights, you have a few, you will think that the throw is somewhat weak. In my opinion, that is the biggest disappointment when it comes to this flashlight. Now I have jumped ahead, so let's go back to the pros. The flood mode is essentially the mode that most people will use the most often. It's insanely bright. It throws the beam a great distance. It really is impressive. On the highest mode, which is turbo, that's 11,000 lumens, the head here will get extremely hot. Now, of course, this does downshift and whatnot, but even still, it will get very, very hot, and you'll feel the heat creeping all the way down into the handle. Now, if you jump down to medium or even high, the heat will dissipate very quickly. This flashlight does an awesome job with heat control. When you have it on the highest setting for the throw mode, it does get a little bit warm, but it's not bad. The heat really does come from the flood mode. For search and rescue operations for law enforcement, this is going to be an awesome tool for them. Not only can you use your own batteries once the battery pack is dead, but this is a really good tool. I mean, it offers you plenty of light solutions depending on what you're doing, what you're looking for, who you're looking for. If you need to blind someone, you definitely can. And of course, if you had to, you can use this as a weapon. It will leave a mark. It will do what it needs to do. Moving on with the pros, this flashlight does feature a battery life indicator right here with the switches. Speaking of switches, there are two of them. They're stainless steel, one for the flood, one for the throw. For those who find memory functionality important, this flashlight does feature memory functionality. So whatever mode you end on, it will go back to. The final pro that I will talk upon is charging. This thing charges super fast, three and a half hours fully charged. Very impressive. Also, I love the fact that it features a USB-C port. That means for me personally, there's one cable to charge my phone and also my flashlight when I'm out on the trail. Now it's time to talk about cons. First off, we have to talk about the throw mode. In my opinion, I'm not really impressed with it all that much. It's usable, but I wish it was brighter. In the end, that's the simple fact. I wish it was brighter. 1,000 lumens is not very impressive. Yes, it can throw that beam a great distance, but imagine how much more usable it would be if it was stronger and it offered more lumens. Next up, the charging port cover is not very good in my opinion. It does cover the port, but it pops open all the time all the time. When it comes to the switches, while of a good quality, they are relatively flat. With gloves, you will have a hard time finding these. With the charging port, you will oftentimes think that that is the switches to turn it on and off. Another con has been rectified by the company. Initial versions of this flashlight had the incorrect SOS stepping. I don't exactly know what it was because the SOS mode is correct on this flashlight. So good job to Phoenix for correcting that. Continuing to talk about the cons here, when the flood is on, you will not even notice that the throw is on, really. Yes, you will see that the center is thrown out further. You can see a little bit more. But in truth, the flood overpowers the throw big time, big time. In future versions of this flashlight, I would like to see the throw mode being much, much stronger. In my opinion, that is the biggest disappointment when it comes to this flashlight. And it's a small one because the throw is still very, very usable. 
Now, it should be mentioned that the throw is only good for throw. It doesn't offer you any benefits up close. It's all about that distance. It's all about reaching out. So to wrap this up, everyone, what do I think about this flashlight? I think it's very impressive. At this price point, it is for a selective few. Law enforcement, search and rescue, those people who need a ton of power. This offers a tremendous amount of light output for a good price and a small form factor. Again, the flood mode is super impressive. That is the mode that I've used basically 99.9% .9 of the time. If I hear something, I need to see something, and it's a far distance away, I can turn on the throw mode. There are better throwers out there, but when it comes to flood, there's nothing better than this. This is the best floodlight I have ever seen. It doesn't just illuminate part of the trail. It's the entire trail. You could see everything. Susie has recently gotten into night hiking with me because I've been testing out so many flashlight products. And let me tell you, she really appreciates this one. This is the one that she personally likes to carry because she could see everything with it. It makes her feel more comfortable. And oftentimes when it comes to the outdoors, it is about feeling comfortable. So for her, this is a flashlight that really helps make her adventures in the night more comfortable for her. And that's understandable. A lot of people are like that. Now, is this flashlight for you? Only you can make that decision. Here with the Outdoor Gear Review, it's not my job to tell you to buy something or not to. I simply provide you with all my feedback, my thoughts, feelings on it, and you're free to make up your own mind. All in all, I do like this flashlight. It's impressive. It really is. The throw, a little disappointing. Flood, impressive. Super impressive. Before going anywhere, make sure to grab your keyboard, type down below, tell me what you think about this flashlight. What do you guys think about Phoenix as a whole? While this flashlight is very expensive, I do have more budget-friendly flashlight reviews coming up. I have another product from Phoenix, and I have a product from Olight coming up very, very soon. Everyone, take care, strength, and honor. I'll see you guys around. Bye.